let's have a look at question one in this video. So we have two villages, a tiny town and Smallville, that are located on opposite sides of a river. Now there is no bridge between them and they decide independently whether they want to finance a bridge. Now building the bridge costs 100, 100 euros, let's say. So if they both help to finance the bridge, they both pay only 50. But if only one of them finances, then it has to pay the entire amount of 100. Now the benefits of a bridge to every city is given. So to tiny town is 60 euros, to Smallville is 75. Now in question A, we have, is it efficient to build a bridge and will it be constructed? So we have the data here on the right. This is the highlight of the question. Now let's start with the first question. Is it efficient to build a bridge? Well, efficiency is about comparing the total benefits of the society relative to the total costs. Now, what are the total benefits when we think about building the bridge? Well, we have benefits for the first city, for T and for S. So that's 60 and 75. So the total benefit would be 60 plus 75. Whereas the total cost, we know that it's 100 euros to build the bridge. So that would be 100. Now, if we do the math over here, we can see that 135 is the total benefits and it's higher than the total cost, meaning that yes, it is efficient to build a bridge. So since the total benefits are higher, we have an efficient, efficient solution here. Now, what about the, uh, what about the decision itself? Is it going to be constructed or not? Remember, this is an independent decision, right? The two, the two cities decide independently, meaning we have a case of game theory. They will both decide at the same time. Now, let's see, we have the two players, right? Uh, let's assume this is going to be our player one and S is going to be our player two. By solving this game theory, we will have to fill in the payoffs. Now, what are going to be the payoffs? The payoffs are the net benefits, the expected gain, so to speak. So we have to take into account both the benefits and the costs to that specific city. For instance, if both cities build, so in the first case, in the first payoff over here in this cell, what are going to be the results if they both build the bridge? Now, if they both build the bridge, it means the cost is going to be spread into 50-50, right? Every them is going to pay 50. What are going to be the benefits for every city? For T, right, for tiny town, is going to be the benefit of 60, minus the cost of building the bridge, which is 50. And for the other guy, it's going to be the benefit of 75 minus the cost of building the bridge, which is 50. Now, what is going to be the result overall? Well, from the first one, we have a net benefit of 10. And from the other one, we have 25. So that's just one case. Now, let's go to the second cell. Let's go over here. When uh, T, tiny town, would build, but Smallville would not build, what would be the payoff over there? Well, because T would build, then he would incur all the cost. He would incur the 100 euros cost. This one would incur zero cost. Now, with that said, what's going to be the net benefit for the city uh, tiny town? Well, 100 is the cost and the benefit to it for tiny town is 60. So the payoff would be 60 minus 100. Now, for the other guy, he would have the benefit of 75 because he would benefit from the bridge. 75, but he has no cost since he's not building it. So 75 minus zero, giving us, giving us a payoff of minus 40 for the first player and 75 for the second player. With the same logic, we go to the next cell. So we go over, we go over here. Now in this case, Tiny Town does not build the bridge, but uh, Smallville builds the bridge. So now we're reversing the uh, costs. This one will have zero costs. The other one will incur all the costs of 100 euros. Now, what's going to be the net benefit? Well, let's see. The net benefits for tiny town is going to be 60, right? That's the benefit minus the zero cost. So that's just 60 minus zero. And for the other guy, it would be a benefit of 75. So 75 minus the cost of 100 since he's incurring the entire cost. So the final results over here would be, would be a net benefit of 60 and the other one would be minus 25. With the same logic, we go one more cell over here to solve it. So what happens when neither of them builds? So tiny town does not build, Smallville does not build. Well, in that case, there is no benefit because there's no bridge and there's also no cost because no one is doing anything. So the payoff would be just zero, zero over here. Now with this in mind, we'll just use our game theory method to see what is the Nash equilibrium. So let's see what the decision is going to be. For instance, if, if tiny town decides to build if he builds, then what is the other guy going to decide based on that? Well, if this one builds, right, the payoffs is 1025 or minus 40, 75. 
the higher payoff for the second player is gonna be 75. 75 is better than 25, meaning that he would not build. In other words, if Tiny Town builds, Smallville does not build. What if Tiny Town says that he won't build the bridge? What does Small Smallville do? Well, for Smallville, we can see that the payoff would be either minus 25 or 0. 0 is better than minus 25, so he would also not build. Okay, we got one case. Now let's do it for the other guy. So when Smallville would decide to build, what would be the reaction of Tiny Town? Well, we think about his expected payoff, which is the first, the first number over here, 10 or 60. Well, 60 is better. So if, if Smallville decides to build the bridge, Tiny Town won't build. So that would be, that would be the payoff over here. And if Smallville does not build the bridge, what would be the payoffs for Tiny Town? either minus 40 or 0 and 0 is better than minus 40 so he would not build a bridge either meaning that the Nash equilibrium in this case would be that neither of them build the bridge so the build the bridge will not be constructed it's efficient to construct it but no one will do it hope this makes sense in the next video we continue to the next question